Okay, so I haven't done a, a video in a while, so I thought I'd do a little layout update to where I am. So, um, on my last video I was comparing the different locos, and the the Athen train here didn't do too well on the review. So I've been playing around with the CVs in the Dakota, and I've, I've been able to get this loco now to start at speed step two by playing around with the um, uh, the CVs. The when I first got the lo the loco, there was a sort of a whirring, grinding noise um, that it that it was making, and now that I've run it around the track over and over again, it's sort of just now reduced to just a whirring noise. So I also have noticed that when you when you have your, your rolling stock. Uh, on the train and you're going around there's a fair bit of noise made by the carriages so you don't actually hear the whirring noise at all so still don't think it's as good as the the Atlas train but what can you do alright so I've started with the the mountain back here I've made a tunnel I just used foam just cut foam sheets out and formed up the tunnel newspaper over the top and then just lay the plaster cloth and it's turned out pretty good uh, in in hindsight I probably would have made the mountain a lot taller than what I've done but um, it's all just experimentation at this stage and learning along the way and I'll just show you a little close-up of inside the tunnel so I've zoomed right in on the tunnel now and Inside here I've used the Woodland Scenics uh, tunnel liner mold and got some plaster and and made a whole bunch of these and then used uh, the pigments to paint them as well. And it's a it's a nice little touch I think to the to the inside of the tunnel. I'm still going to make the portal here that will go over and it should cover all the ends here of the plaster. So all you'll see is the portal and then the uh, the plast the uh, tunnel lining inside. It's actually quite a uh, a long task to do. I only got one woodland scenics mold, so you have to make one section at a time. And I, I think I made about eight sections all up on this, so it takes a little while to um, to do. But the the results are very good. I've also ballasted the track before I built the tunnel and uh, it's fully ballast all the way through the tunnel and it was a great way for me to um, learn about ballasting and it didn't need to be really good because I knew that the majority of it you wouldn't see alright so when it comes to finishing off the mountain I bought the Woodland Scenics uh, rock moulds, I've got a couple of them and obviously cast up the mould I put some pigment paint on it and then just cut out a, a section and just inserted the the plaster uh, rock into the the mountain so I've still got a fair bit of finishing off to do and um, I, I still want to cast a couple more rocks and to see how it goes and um, just winging it at the moment then uh, yeah so here's a look uh, from the other end of the table now and I've started building uh, the new tunnel and there's a shop down near me that sells this foam in like really large sheets like 2.4 meters by 1200 so I just bought a really big sheet of foam and I've just been cutting out the sections and it's, I found it be quite an easy way to, um, to form up the tunnel so as usual I pre-ballast the track before I built the tunnel and before I put the actual lid on this section here I ran trains round and round the layout to make sure that um, there was no derailments or, or any problems and it didn't seem to be so I just went and blazed ahead and just put the roof on this section I still have to do this section here and that would be the tunnel I've got the tunnel portals also to make and I'll most likely be using the Woodland Scenics tunnel liners uh, inside uh, here as well. 
All right, so around the back of the layout now, and this was the tunnel I just showed you. I'm building another series of tunnels there as well, so there's a fair bit of tunnels going on in this layout. This section here is like uh, where the mountain would dip down, and you can get like views of the train as it um, exits this tunnel and enters this one. I thought this is a nice little touch about uh, just sort of having glimpses of the train as it as it went by. So I've got some six mil plywood, and I'm using that as the the ends up being the fascia but it also ends up being um, the support for the tunnel walls and stuff. I found that the ply is, works quite well. Uh, I'll be panning it up obviously later on and this was simply just glued and then nailed into the baseboard itself and then with a lot of sanding and timber putty you can you can barely even tell that down here that there are any nail holes at all so it worked out quite well. Alright, so after I finished the tunnels, the lids on, and I'm happy with everything, then I'll start to form up the mountains on this side. There's, there's actually going to end up being a fair bit of plaster going on this layout. I, I possibly got a little carried away with the with the tunnel building, but um, it's you know it's too late to turn back now. And anyway, we'll see how it turns out, and uh, we'll go from there.